Hello Pisces, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in August. This reading will be for all of the Pisces out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading and you want to show some support, okay, <laughs> to this channel, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell and a thumbs up image to help the video circulate for something more private, more detailed and specific to your story, your situation. The links for personal readings will be posted in the description box below the video. All right. All right, so let's get started. You have the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. So some of you are like working really hard at this time. Um, you're putting a lot of work into something. I see you working hard, putting work into. Some of you are working hard on yourself. You may be reflecting on the past, reflecting on things that you may have or could have done differently, um, reflecting on something that may scare you that you may not want to deal with. But I'm seeing reflecting, like working hard within yourself. Some of you are doing some like self-awareness um, or self-care work or something like that. Could be done with the... Cancer, a Sagittarius, a Taurus, Gemini's energy is here as well. Okay, so in the past, I see again, some of you were moving forward in love. Um, you may have, someone may have reached out to you to tell you or to let you know that they want to take things to the next level in a relationship. This person may, and this could be vice versa, so this could be your energy as well. Or someone, um, you could have reached out to someone and to tell them that you want to take this relationship to another level. If you have a family, you're moving forward in your family, you are more loving, you are letting people know that you love them. Okay. Right now. I see disappointment may have set in for some of you. Someone may have disappointed you. Let you down in some kind of way. Caused you to feel betrayed, stabbed in the back. I feel like you were patient with this person. You um you try to maintain some balance, but someone around you may have been someone was being sneaky. And I feel like you put it off, you tried to pretend like you didn't see or you didn't know what was going on. Yeah, but someone was being deceptive. There's some deceptive energy here. In the near future, I feel like, um, I don't feel like you'll be making up with this person right away. I feel like someone here has a lover. If it's not that. You just don't want to be bothered. But I'm really picking up someone here has a lover. And they were sneaking off. Someone, because you have the nine of, let me see. Oh, the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck and the ten of wands. So that represents work. Someone could have been telling you or someone could have been sneaking off to deal with another person while you were at work or this is vice versa 
and you had some type of idea about it, but <clears throat> I feel like you were not sure. You weren't sure. That's why that temperance card is there. You were patient, like you were waiting to see, but I feel like with that seven of swords, someone was creeping off while you were at work. Some of you found out something. Comment in the comment section and let me know if this is your story. Also hit that thumbs up image if this is resonating with you. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing someone. I'm seeing someone here moving on from a from a person that's given to multiple people, putting an end to being an option or being in a third party situation. Okay. Putting it putting an end to being an option or being in a third party situation. It's one or the other. Okay. Yeah, this is someone you were committed to. Could be a Gemini or a Virgo. This person is coming back. They're manifesting at this point in time, a reconciliation, they want you back. This person is going to tell you they're coming in more committed. They're not going to do it again. They're going to be charming, looking good, smelling good. Tell you that they love you. I believe that they do because there is stability. They're going to work hard on stabilizing this union as well as work hard to make you feel comfortable make you believe them when they say that they've made change some of you are married to this person some of you are married to this person been with this person for years over 10 years this person is coming in Someone here may have a red, gold, black, or a white car. Red, gold, black, white, possibly gray. This person is coming in like a knight in shining armor. If you are not married to this person and you are in a long-term commitment, this person is coming in to ask for um, your hand in marriage. Because they don't want you to move on. Cancer's energy is here. This person does not want you to leave them. They're getting advice from your family, your friends. Pertaining to what they should do to get you back. Okay. Because they're unsure. This person is unsure if you want to commit to them. They feel like you're taking too long to answer their request. For reconciliation. And I, I, if this is you, I agree with you. Make them wait. Be sure. Stand back and watch and see how they respond if you make them wait. Yeah. Because in your mind right now, you're wondering, you're thinking, should I just leave this person alone? I love them, but should I just leave them alone? I feel like there are multiple queens here could be queens or kings apply the energy as it fits to your story this person has options and i mean like it may be you and two other or maybe three other people is what i'm seeing they may want to have sex with you but of course you block that you cut them off some of you stop having sex with this person and that is why or you're not having sex with them enough. And that is why they feel that it's okay to see this other person. To get their needs met. Could be done with an Aquarius. Gemini's energy is here. 
Aries energy is here. I feel like this person is hoping that they can heal things with you. They're going to try to take control of the situation, take responsibility for their part in the situation. However, I feel like this person may still be playing a game. They're coming in telling you everything that you want to hear. But I feel like they, they, this person is still playing a game. Yeah, they want to come home. They're waiting to come home. You make them happy. Could be a Leo. You're their happiness. You're their light. You bring life into their life. They're, this person feels like they're nothing without you. I'm hearing I'm nothing without you. Can we start over? Can we have this new stable begin, beginning? Please give me a second chance. I love you. I want to nurture this. I want things to grow. I want to be a better person. I want to be married. I want to get remarried or renew or do a, um, a, a vial renew. A vial, not vial, vial, renewal. So, uh, Pisces, if this is your story, comment in the comment section below. I'm going to leave it at that. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.